So big news today, Google has decided to drastically change the um, the uh, the way they return local search results. So there's some very fascinating things, that, and you, you've probably already heard about this, but I'm going to run you through a few of uh, the new things you're going to see and um, a lot you're not going to see. So the first thing you'll see is there's three. There are three returns here now. And instead of seven, there were seven for quite some time. It's been uh, more than two years, maybe even three years since uh, they went to the what's called the seven pack. Uh, some people are now calling this the snack pack, which is pretty accurate when you think about uh, how much is removed. Um, immediately, you should notice that not all of these have an address on them. Now, some of them do, but for the majority, what we're seeing is that there are no addresses. So this could be that the algorithm has not quite finished scrubbing all the addresses out. Um, it could be that there is something in the algorithm that is causing some uh, addresses to be included and some not. We don't know yet. So you will see there's a website and directions here, but guess what? There's no phone number. There's not even a click to call on the desktop version or a, a click uh, or a phone icon that you can click so you so that you can find the phone number. So the first idea is, well, maybe we need to go down here to more periodontists. Maybe they have the phone number there. But guess what? There's no phone number here either. So uh, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. They've removed a lot of information. If we go back to the previous screen, you'll also see there's no kickout card over here anymore, which I find fascinating. I guess this is because they've removed the Google Plus um, the Google Plus page connection from the uh, front page uh, uh, local return, which is what this is. So you'll also see that there is no Google Plus page connection here, and there is no Google review name here. It's just called it's just called reviews, obviously. So that is a fascinating fascinating development. Um, I happen to know this listing pretty well because uh, one of these was one of my clients and, uh, their Yelp listing was returning about right in here, about, uh, three places below, uh, the map returns or the snack pack or seven pack, whichever, whatever you want to call it. And that's no longer here. Now they have best periodontist in Austin for the Yelp up here. So it'll be interesting to see if that's that restacks or if they're treating Yelp itself differently. Um, but obviously this is going to make organic listings much more prominent, which is interesting to me because everything's going mobile. It's all about click to call. And on this video, I can't show you mobile, but I'll, I'm going to try to shoot a video on my phone to show you how mobile looks because mobile does have a, a phone icon, but there's no phone number on there. So Honestly, on its face, this feels like I'm going to take my ball and go home since nobody wants to play with me from Google. That's what it feels like. It's like, okay, if you don't want our Google Plus, if you're not going to use our Google Plus that we work so hard on, we're going to take the phone number off. I can't see any other reason for this. I can't see a reason. They say they want to make the search experience more relevant. This makes it harder. And I will tell you this, this really opens the door for Yahoo and Bing. If they have any brains at all, they will hit this hard with some advertising and get people to switch over to their search engine because this is going to be a less relevant search experience. In my opinion, I don't see any way I have I've talked to several people that I uh, have a lot of respect for, and none of us can find any reason for this. So we're on an interesting journey here, folks. This is a very interesting development. 